Very fast, top 10 newbie tips and tricks that you must know if you're new in this Galaxy A54 phone. So subscribe to the channel and comment which is best for you. This is a tip that no one knows that you can do a split screen shortcuts. Now I'm gonna show you in this, I don't have nothing in the background. And if I, this is, the, here are two shortcuts of split screen that I have created. I'm gonna show you how to create it. Next, if I type this one, this is a shortcut of split multitasking where in the top I have, for example, YouTube. In the bottom, I have the calculator. And I, I press this other one. In the top, I have Google search. In the bottom, I have a settings of the phone. How do you create this? It's very easy. All you have to do is, for example, let's enter one app. Let's enter the call apps. And now let's enter the multitasking and press here in the bottom, in the top of the icon, open split screen. And now you're going to select the other app you want to be in the bottom. Maybe you want in the bottom to have Google Maps. And to create this special shortcut, you're going to type in these three buttons that are in the center. You're going to type here and now type in the star. You're going to type in the star type in the star and add a pair to home screen. That's all you have to do. This little shortcut is here in your home screen. Now I'm going to close everything again. And if I type or press this shortcut, this is a special shortcut that I have created because I like to or use two apps at the same time. Subscribe to the channel, comment if you know if you have used this little tip. Like, like, like and subscribe. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to use the object eraser in your Samsung Galaxy phone. It's very easy. Go to gallery and you're going to select any picture where you want to erase something, an object of your picture. And now you're going to press here the little pencil. And now the three dots that are in the bottom and you're going to do impress object eraser. Now you're going to do a little circle. Very important to do a little and simple circle around the object that you want to raise and click here in erase. And in this moment, the next step is very important because when you go done, you have two options. If you go here in save in the top button, you're going to save and overwrite the original photo. If you don't want to overwrite the original photo, you have to press here in the three dots and save as a copy. Okay, we have a save of a copy. This is a copy. And here we have the original. Like, subscribe and comment. Did you know that you can customize your power button? When we press and hold our power button, we're typically, go typically going to do power off, reset, emergency call. But if we press here where you can see side key settings, we can do a lot of other things. We could do, for an example, open an app. Wake up Bixi, launch the camera. For example, if we do a double press, we could open the camera or we can open maybe an app that we do do and use a lot. Example, Facebook, okay, and wake up Bixi. Now let's go out. If I press one time, we're gonna, if we hold, we're gonna open Bixi. Okay, here we are opening Bixi, but we press two times, we're gonna open any app. In this case, it's gonna be Facebook. Facebook, very easy. Subscribe and comment if you know this little tip. If you made a video screen recording of your phone and you see that it didn't, didn't record your sound of your microphone, maybe it's not activated. How do you activate it? Let's do it again. Now, very, very attention. If you're going to start, when you start your video recording, let's start. It's going to ask you, maybe it's in none or media. If you want to record your voice, it must be in mic. Media, media is the phone sounds and mic is your your sounds I'm gonna and you should activate show tabs now if you start recording it's gonna start recording with your voice and as you can see it's gonna record these tabs let's do open down oh I closed let's see what what the phone did gallery and as you can see it's gonna record these tabs Subscribe to the channel, like the video, thank you. If you miss calls or texts when you're in an environment where you cannot have sound, you can activate your camera flash notifications, how to do it very easy. Let's go down and enter the settings of the phone. Let's go settings and now we're gonna go down, down, down and find this option called accessibility. And now we're gonna enter advanced settings. And now here is the option called flash notification. Let's go enter flash notification. And 
and we have two options camera flash notifications and what's gonna pass is the flash in the back is gonna flash every time all notification enters or we can have screen flash notification that it's always very useful if we have the phone facing down or facing up if we select the two options we're gonna have flash notification activated preview let's do a preview as you can see in the back see in the back how the flash and the screen is flashing subscribe to the channel like 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 and thank you very fast and easy how to activate something called screen flash notification there is an option called flash camera notification the flash in the back is going to activate every time we have a notification of our phone or a call entering but there is an option called screen flash notification here's a preview how the screen is going to flash every time a notification is entering how to activate it let's get out of all these options i'm going to show you let's enter here options settings of your phone go down and find the accessibility option and now advanced settings and now flash notification and this is the option that i have turned on this is a preview if you want to turn it off disactivate it this is the way you disactivate it activate it or you want to have the two options screen flash notification and camera flash notification let's see a preview look at my hand flash in the front flash in the back you're never gonna miss a notification like subscribe and thank you if this phone is too big for your hands there's a one hand mode that you can activate it like this i tap two times here in the center and you can see how big screen now is a little screen that you can move left to right or get out this mode how to enter this mode or activate it because by default is not activated you're going to enter here the settings and the easiest way is simply just enter here this magnifier or search option and you're going to type one hand mode you type one hand mode and here is the option one handed mode and by default this is not activated as you can see i've typed two times nothing happens but if i go in here now i do it again one hand mode and I activated here you enter and you can select if you want to do it by gestures or by buttons by the three buttons in the bottom just tapping two times in the center and this is all you have to do like subscribe and comment if you know about this one hand mode very fast and easy you want to have two messengers or dual messengers or two whatsapps or facebook in your phone all you have to do is enter here settings of your phone and you're gonna go down and find advanced settings let's see if maybe it's here in advanced features and now you're gonna go down and here is the option called dual messenger now here are the apps that you can do dual messenger in this case you can have two whatsapps now let's see it like he like let's enter here this is my first whatsapp if i go back and activate dual whatsapp it's gonna install turning all dual messenger and you can see here i have the normal whatsapp and the dual whatsapp so fast and so easy but it's very important that not all apps will allow it like subscribe and comment very fast and easy how to start up your whatsapp and your phone first of all you have to go to play store and you're gonna find and look for the whatsapp application in this case you're gonna type whatsapp and then you're gonna download it then you're gonna open and very important that you must know which is your phone number in this phone because you're gonna receive a message text that's gonna confirm that if you don't know which is your phone you're gonna go here enter in settings now go to connections now go to sim manager and now here you can see which is your phone number now having your phone number you're gonna return to whatsapp go here and agree and continue and now you must enter your phone but it's very important to select your country if you're in usa you must select usa if you're in india you must select india and know which is your number of your country in this case the phone number of this phone is this one hope you send me some messengers and likes a lot of likes you enter now go next it's gonna ask you if the phone is okay you must check it because sometimes we enter bad the phone okay the phone is okay now we're gonna 
wait for the verification code ok allow skip backups skip restore enter a name let's put sus let's put hello hello next and that's all you have to do very easy remember to subscribe to my channel and thank you and now you can see that I'm receiving some messengers from my other phone if you want to have a different wallpaper changing every week or almost every day it can be due by the dynamic wallpapers options of the Samsung Galaxy phones all you have to do is press and hold your screen now go down here where you can see wallpapers and style and select the option called change wallpapers now you're gonna go down 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 and here is the option called wallpaper servers dynamic lock screen you're gonna see every time you unlock your screen different wallpapers so you enter here and as you can read keep things fresh with a different image each time you turn on the screen new images every two weeks choose up to five categories maybe you like cats download maybe you like full i like art download and that's all you have to do select the categories let's wait they download in this case for the video now be too long only two categories you can select up to five update auto update and download using mobile data you're going to be you can select which option to use and that's all you have to do go back go back and each time you open and turn on your phone you're going to be uh, seeing a different dynamic wallpaper subscribe to the channel like 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 and thank you